Hello, dear students. How are you today? I am Jaina Gulsha Nazarovna, and I'm really glad to see you again. Today, we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. Try to find it yourself. Look at this picture, please. Do you remember this game? Very good. It is four pictures, one word. What do you think? What is the topic of our lesson today? Very good. We are going to talk about New Year. Can you hear the sound? Nice. So what is it? Clock strikes 12. Let's start our lesson. Today, we are going to talk about New Year around the world. First of all, think about these questions, please. When do people celebrate New Year in Kyrgyzstan? Do you know the answer? Nice, let's look at the second question. How do people usually celebrate it? And the last question. Does your family have special tradition for the New Year celebration? Thank you for your answers. Now, let's sing a song together. Cheer, cheer, cheer the year, a new one's just begun. Celebrate with all your friends, cheers to everyone. Cheer, cheer, cheer the year, a new one's just begun. Celebrate with all your friends, cheers to everyone. Cheer, cheer, cheer the year, a new one's just begun. Celebrate with all your friends, cheers to everyone. Cheer, cheer, cheer the year. Did you like the song? Very good. So now please prepare your notebooks and pens. We are going to learn some new phrases. Look at this picture, please. What can you see here? Fireworks. Do you know which word we use with these nouns? Set off. Repeat after me, please. Set of fireworks. Set of fireworks. Write these words, please. Next one. Look at the first picture. What can you see here? We can see balloons. What is it doing? It's blowing up balloons. Repeat after me, please. Blow up balloons. Blow up balloons. 
What about the second picture? What is he doing? Pop balloons. Repeat after me, please. Pop balloons. Blow up balloons. Pop balloons. Good. Next one. What can you see here? Christmas tree. And what is the girl doing? She is decorating it. Repeat after me, please. Decorate Christmas tree. Decorate Christmas tree. Very good. Next one. Presents. We can also say gifts. They are synonyms. Presents. What can you do with the presents? You can give them, of course. First you buy presents, then you give presents. Repeat after me, please. Give presents. Give presents. Very good. Next one. What are these? Candles. Pay attention to the first sound. K. Candles. What is he doing? Light candles. Repeat after me, please. Light candles. Light candles. What about the second picture? Blow out candles. Blow out candles. Light candles and blow out candles. What can you see here? What are they wearing? Costumes. So we say wear costumes. Wear costumes. Are they funny? Yes, they are. Good. Next one. What can you see here? Confetti. So we say throw confetti. Throw confetti. And the last one is clock. Okay. And what does it do? It strikes. Clock strikes. Clock strikes. Now your task is to remember the phrases we have learned and try to find their pair. Please match them. Do you want to do the first one together? Let's try light candles, light candles. Now please match the other phrases yourselves. Could you match them? Very good. Let's check your answers. Blow up balloons. Give gifts. Wear costumes. Throw confetti. Decorate Christmas tree. And set off fireworks. Very good. Great job. Dear students, do you know that people in different countries have different traditions? Now please look at these pictures and try to guess how are they connected with the new year. Then read the text and check your answers. Let's go. Dark haired man, loaf of bread, drink and coal. Which country are we talking about? What do you think?
You are right. We are talking about England. And how are these pictures connected with the New Year? Let's read the text together. In England, people believe that the first guest who visits their house after midnight will bring good luck for them. The first guest should be a dark-haired man, and he must make the family a present of a loaf of bread for the kitchen, drink for the head of the family, and coal to light the fire. If you are the first guest, but don't have these gifts on you, you can't enter the house. Is it interesting? Yes, it is. Now, let's look at the next pictures, please. We have door, broken dishes, and chair. Which country are we talking about? We are talking about Denmark. Let's read together. In Denmark, people save all dishes that they don't use until the 31st of December. On New Year's Day, they throw these dishes on their friends' doors. It shows their friendship and respect. If you have a big pile of broken dishes in front of your door, it means you made a lot of friends during the year. They also have another tradition. At midnight, people climb on top of chairs and jump into your new year to bring good luck. It's really interesting, isn't it? Let's look at the next picture. We have red paint, firecrackers, mice and knife. Which country are we talking about? We are talking about China. Let's read about it. New Year in China is an important holiday. Before the holiday, they do a lot of housework and shopping. Red color in China means happiness. That's why people paint the front doors in red to invite happiness in their houses. They hide all the knives because they don't want to cut the family good luck for the coming year. Chinese people believe that if you make noise, evil spirits don't come into your house. That's why they decorate their houses with plastic firecrackers to scare their evil spirits away. Chinese people celebrate New Year for 10 days. Every day has its own meaning. For example, the third day is the mice wedding. People go to bed early to give mice chance to have their wedding ceremonies. Did you know about it? No? So these traditions are really interesting. Now your task is to read the text again and write true or false. For example, the first guest should be dark-haired man. Go back to the text, please. Read it and try to find the answer. It is true. Now please try to do the other parts yourselves. Let's check your answers. Number 2. The first guest must make the family a present of chocolate. It is false. Number 3. The first guest must give drink for the head of the family. It is true. And number 4. You can enter the house if you don't have these gifts. It is False. You can't enter the house. Nice. Now let's read about Denmark. You have the same task. Read the text and write true or false. Answer. 
Are you ready to check your answers? Number one. On New Year's Day, they throw the food on their friends' doors. It is false. They don't throw the food. They throw the broken dishes. Number two. If you have a big pile of broken dishes, it means you have a lot of enemies. It is false. It means you have a lot of friends. And number three. At midnight, people climb on top of chairs to be like him. It is true. Very good. And the last text. Let's read about China. Are you ready to check your answers? Great. Number one. People do a lot of housework and shopping before the holiday. It is true. Before the holiday, they do a lot of housework and shopping. Number two. Red color in China means happiness. It is true. Very good. And number three. If you make noise, Evil spirits come into your house. It is false. Chinese people believe that if you make noise, evil spirits don't come into your house. Now, let's check whether you remember the words or not. Look at these pictures, please. Your task is to write the words under the pictures. Let's do the first one together. What can you see on the picture? It is a door. D double O R. Now please write the other words yourselves. I'm going to show you the correct answers. Number two is dark haired man. What is the next picture? Red paint. Good job. Next one. Mice. What is the singular form of it? We say one mouse. Next picture. Broken dishes. What about this? Loaf of bread. And the last one is coal. Brilliant. Well done, guys. Now, let's watch a video about other countries. What kind of traditions do they have there? New Year around the world. Italy, Japan, Venezuela, France, Philippines, and Denmark. Watch the video, please, and try to write their traditions. In every country, people celebrate New Year, but in each of them it looks different, depending on their culture and tradition. Let's look at some countries. Italy. Italians used to throw old junk, through the windows on the New Year's night, to get rid of troubles of the old year. Japan In Japan, on the New Year, you can hear 108 bell strokes for different vices. There are greed, stupidity, anger, and others. Once the New Year arrives, Japanese laugh out loud, as laughter is believed to bring good luck. Venezuela New Year has to be met wearing yellow underwear, as it is believed to bring good luck. Venezuelans write down all their wishes. When midnight is close, they gather their wish notes and burn them. France 
There is an old belief that noise chases bad spirits away. So, French cities are extremely noisy on New Year's night. The French believe that the first person to enter the house symbolizes what that year will be like. Philippines Children in Philippines have to jump 10 times at the New Year's midnight if they want to grow tall. Denmark The Danish collect dishes for the whole year and then throw at their friends' doors. If a Dane finds a lot of broken plates at his door on the New Year morning, he is happy. His life is good and he has a lot of friends. So what is the New Year tradition in Italy? Throw all junk through the windows. Next one. In Japan, people laugh out loud. Venezuela. People write down their wishes and burn them. France. People make loud noise. Philippines Children jump 10 times to become taller and Denmark People collect the dishes and throw them to the friends' doors This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Happy New Year!